Alive, and we're live. We're alive. And we're live. We're back home, and yeah. we're alive. Finally back home. I'm super excited. Yeah, I feel like you're taking up all the room. I feel like I'm like in the middle of the room. Super excited. Yep. Because we are trying tonight for the first time. Athletic Brewing, Hometown Harvest, special limited edition, limited release. I don't wish I lived in Connecticut, but... Because I love San Diego, but I do wish I was closer to them because they have way more beers in their tap room that I can never get out here in California. We went to Wegmans, remember in Wegmans, New York? Shout out, hashtag Wegmans. They had athletic brewing in their little cooler case. It was like best. best uh, I love Wegmans. It yeah. was like Christmas They're morning, going in there and finding all the athletic brewing in there. But we so far in California, we don't. But you can order online. Free shipping if you buy two six packs, or you can buy from NA Craft Be Beverages, NACraftBeverages.com, and they have a whole plethora of variety of different ones. Some we're going to try next week, too. So, NACraftBeverages.com. Dot com. Dot com. Sells all these online and more. So, really cool. And more. And you don't say. Hey, hey whoa, whoa, wait, there's more. <sighs> so, let's crack this open because I'm super excited. I'm thirsty. Let's just get into this. Oh Who's here? Who's here? Tell everybody, say hi, hi. Hello. Who's here? Who's there? having a beer? Oh, yeah. Smells like beer. Teen spirit. Hey, my mo. Hey, ma. How's, how's it going? All right, so this is Using the, uh, obviously non alcoholic beer. I want to sip out of the can first. Mm. 80 calories, 14 grams of carbohydrates. That's actually not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's a lot for beer in general, but probably not for like IPAs and stuff. 14 grams of carbs, 80 calories, so that's less than be, than what this would be if this was like a, a beer with alcohol in it. Let's, let's try it up. Less than 5%. Well, uh, less than 0.5%. Cheers. Cheers. Alrighty. Oh, man. That tastes good. That is everything I was hoping it would be. That tastes good. It tastes happy. It tastes, to me, it tastes a lot like the rum wild. Cheers, Alan. This is a festive fall IPA. Yeah, it tastes festive and folly to me. Yeah, that's good. It's very good. Yeah. But I think, I think it tastes a lot like the Ron Wild. Crap, I wish we only opened one. So then we could no, go. it tastes like a... I don't want to open three at a, at a time. Tastes like a fall type of beer. Cheat. Cheers. It does. It does. I don't, it you think it taste... tastes more folly? Yeah. Does. Right, pour this into this cup. Yeah, pour it in that cup. Put it in the cup. I don't know what it does. It tastes fall. It doesn't taste like pumpkin. Well, harvest. It tastes like the harvest festival. It tastes like fall leaves. What does the harvest festival taste like? Like leaves. No. Hmm. So if I close Oh, this my is eyes. a way darker. See? There you go. That's what it tastes like okay. right there. Yeah, that's autumn. Right like harvest. Like har like yeah. autumn. Yep. That's what I taste When's right autumn? there. When is autumn? Is autumn another word for fall? fall. Yeah. <laughs> We're smart around here. It's like sometimes I'm smart and sometimes I'm super dumb. All right, so this is, but it looks yep. more brown in there, but it, from our side, I don't know if it's different to you. It looks yeah. orangey, more of an orangey with hints of yellow in it. It's a dark. It's a dark golden orange. It's really good. Yeah, it's very good. It, it still, does. It still it tastes light, though. Hint. It does have a hint of fall. Yeah, it does. Of harvest, of autumn. I'm very excited about but, this one. Very excited. Well, you only got four left, so you better cherish them. Because mm. you can't buy them online. You can't get them. It's a limited release. You either get it when they when they have the release. It's usually at five. Oh, that's good. Five Central Standard Time or, no, Eastern Standard Time, five o'clock. Are there... Are they gonna release? Gonna get on. Are they gonna release any more or no? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, with connections out there, how do I get more? You gotta people. be on it. But the Run Wild IPA was one of my favorite non-alcoholic beers. I'll put a little review up at the top. But that was one of the first ones we had, so I don't even think in our review we appreciated it mm -hmm. as much as we should appreciate it because Run Wild IPA is really, really, really good. But maybe we did. I don't remember what the review was like. I know we liked it. But since then, we've had a boatload of non-alcoholic beers, and that's still one of the top contenders. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very good. Upside Dawn is good too, but I think the Run Wild is better. What do you think? I think they're both very high quality beers, high quality H two O. All right, let's rate this before mm. we're all done with it. I, I can't remember what did I rate the IPA one. I don't know, but this is the tone, so let's just go with it. <laughs> it's just twenty k. Okay, <laughs> zero to ten. Ten being the best. Okay, because yeah, sometimes well, Nancy has problems with what side is the better side. What did I rate? That okay, day? autumn. What did what did I <laughs> what did I rate that day? And what did I, what did I rate in the kitchen one day? And you're like that bad? I'm like no, that's good. That's good. You gave it. You gave two beers a zero last week. No, yeah, that was no, not it was in this kitchen. This was yeah. like a month ago. Hey, right, Mama G. Okay, are we doing it? Count to three. You already burping up a storm on. I on live like, television? No, that, more than that. What's coming up? Hey! Hello! Hello, Blake's Mama. Hello, in town. Blake. Hello, Mama. Hello, Lynn. Okay. Blake, you working people on the ping pong table over there? We're supposed to be rating this beer. Hometown Harvest. Hometown Harvest. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, two three. three. 9.1. Nine. Yeah. I gave it a nine. He gave it a yeah. 9.1. It's really, really good. Pretty hometown pretty, harvest. It's kind of tastes like good. the run wild with a hint of autumn at the end. Kind of with a what? Hint of autumn at the end. Is he gonna grow a beard again? Well, we were just talking about this. Yeah. Um, I was talking about his mustache and how, for some reason, this year, normally every year I'm just like, oh yeah, do it. You should talk. Every year he's like, should I do it this year? And I'm like the proponent of, yes, you should do it. Do it for November. But this year, for some reason, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And then he reminded me that he had a beard last year. I said, oh, that's no. right. You had the beard. And my mother no, was yeah. like, <laughs> and my mother was like, no, don't get no, rid of it. And I'm like, that. keep it. I love it. I love it. And then when he finally got rid of it, I was like, Oh yeah. I do this for men's health awareness you people. Got this, rid is, of it. this is for charity. This is saving lives. I know, but I think right now it's like too faint. Oh yeah, right now it's disgusting. Yeah. But it'll, it'll get there. In January, it'll get there. It's kind of like a dead rat. Yeah. But not good. really, because it doesn't have as much hair as that. Um, no, not growing the beard. This year is just straight up mustache. Stashing it up. Stashing it up. Every year is a little bit different from the last. Last year was the first time I grew a beard um, and just stuck with the beard the entire time. And then it just kept on growing into a Santa beard by the time Christmas came around. It was long. It was long. Yeah, it got long. So now I have, it's weird because now uh, I have this mustache, which I inherited from my dad. So I remember I have the same exact mustache that my dad had when I was a kid. Yeah, it's like a porn star mustache. Yeah, I look in the mirror and I'm like, man, that's like my dad's mustache. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's like porn star. It's like weird 80s. how you like inherit weird things from your parents. Yeah. Like yeah, me. I, I know, Joyce. Like I, I inherited my mother's love of shopping. Not. Nah. Yeah, I know. I know, Joyce. I, I, I realize I look younger without it. <laughs> but, you know, it's only one month. What are you going to do? So, but then in December, when I shave it off, I'm going to look so young and so handsome, and so cool. Yeah. With your gray hair. Anybody yeah. see that picture I posted on Instagram or on Facebook? It was on Facebook. Wait, I look the same. Actually, I was a little bit chubbier. But uh, Hans's hair is so dark. Now look at it. What do you mean? I look, look how dark that is. Actually, that looks dark. But that's the size. Dark. Not over here. Look how dark that is. It's like a black hole. Anyway, I'm in, I'm in Christmas pajamas. He's in an Irish shirt. Ireland. So then, then I started singing, it's Christmas in Killarney. The mother country. Yeah, we were in Ireland. The Everybody line. knows this. We were in Ireland for the past 11 days. And we ended, we, we did a couple lives while we were there. One, you couldn't really hear us that well. Blake, if you're on still, I don't know why you didn't tell us that you couldn't hear us that well because you can't hear us. No, remember on the uh, cell phone. No, I, I put it on my uh, my old school Samsung tablet. It's from like 1910. Today, and you couldn't really hear it. But anyways, we oh. did two, but we ended, we're in Galway. And Galway, they have... There's kind of thick accents if you talk to the actual locals there. Hmm. But um people at work asked me if I was a Galway girl now. 
we went to so, yes. we went to the bar. Speaking of Galway girl, we went to this bar that Hansi loved there called O'Connell's, and we found out while we were there that that's where they filmed Galway Girl. Ed yeah. Sharon, Sharon, Ed, Ed Sharon. Sharon, Ed Sharon. Ed Sheeran's video, Galway Girl, was filmed in this bar. And it's also right outside of it is where I got that butterfly picture that's really cool. Because I'm so cool. So no, cool. it was that artwork. Hmm. It was really, I love that thing. thing. I'm so glad I made him take a picture of me again. He didn't tell me I was off center. I was off center of the butterfly. I look at the picture. I'm like, I'm off center. You gotta take it again. Oh, but we went man. to that bar. We also, so we didn't really do much research before this trip to Ireland. Well, we, we knew the towns we wanted to go to. But then I met in one of these random pubs I, that was a hard, half hardware store, half bar. Really weird. I wouldn't fly in the U.S. I, so before yeah. we move on, I, I sat my beer next to uh, – th- these are things that wouldn't fly in the U.S. I sat my beer ne- next to uh, Slug Killer and Rat Poison, and it was just something that you got to take a picture of. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Well, I, in that bar, I met this girl that also did the powerlifting competition. Mind you, we're in a totally different town. And so then I started following her on Instagram, and I'm looking at her post, and she went to the oldest pub in Ireland. So I'm like, Hansi, where is this thing? I look it up, and it's on the way back from Galway to Dublin. So I'm like, we have to go. Mind you, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, we got to go. It opens at 1030. We're like waiting outside, Sonic the Hedgehog, tapping our foot, waiting for it to open, open up the place, go in, have one last pint of Guinness. It's going to be my last one. And we were having so much fun. Other people came in. We found out it wasn't just the oldest pub in Ireland. It's the oldest bar in the world. world. The whole wide world. It was opened in 900. Yeah, 900 maybe something. (laughs) What is that role? I don't know, it's like 80. 900 something, 80. It was opened in 900. (coughs) Anyway, I ended up leaving there. We had to go to the airport. We still had to drive like another hour and a half. I ended up leaving there yelling, one more pint, <laughs> one more pint, one more pint. You're a huge Guinness fan after that whole trip. Yes, I am. Yeah. But I do love this for when I'm training, for when like nights like tonight, if I had a signing after this, which I don't tonight, because <clears> today, <throat> these last couple of days, I missed all the busy season. Now I'm like freaking out, man. So today was not busy, so I don't have one tonight. But if I did... I'd be fine because I'm drinking non-alcoholic beer. So this gives me the feeling that I am. You know, now that I keep this is opening up a little bit, I might mm. have to lower my score a little bit. What do you mean? Just a little bit. I think it tastes a little honey. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think it tastes a little bit honey Take a sip. I, I just did. I love it. You done? No. Take a sip of mine. I think it's a little bit honey. I like it. Is that the autumn? Yeah, because you also drink that pasta. Yeah, I like it tastes like the same beer. I think it tastes a little honey. I don't know. No, it tastes good to me. It tastes great. I think I might have to knock it down a little bit. You did 9.1. I think yeah. I got to go to an 8. 8? Even? 8 point. Let's say rookie score. 4. 8.4. There you go. Okay. 8.4. Okay, 8.4 <coughs> and 9 point one. Only because okay. I think I'm tasting, as this opens up in my glass, I think I'm tasting hints of honey, and I can't do the honey. I don't mm. do the honey, because as we know, my mother traumatized me with the honey and the tea when I was sick. Yeah. But, yeah. So who's suffering from daylight savings? Because I am tired at like 7 o'clock every night now. We didn't have just one daylight savings. We had two daylight savings. We had daylight savings in Ireland because they did it the week before. And so not only did we switch time zones and we were eight hours off, then we were only seven hours off. Then we came back here. We were seven hours ahead. And then we flipped the, flipped the script. So now we're back to eight hours off. Yeah. So we had two daylight savings time. We had a lot of repeat hours. That's pretty cool. (laughs) Right? We lived a lot of many, many hours over again. It's like Groundhog Day over here. Yeah. Um, So what was your favorite part of Ireland? Kinsale. Kinsale. After it was all said and done, Kinsale, huh? Was it Kinsale or was it Jazz Fest that happened to be at Kinsale? Yeah, I think it was... 
Jazz Fest was in Cork and Kinsale is a small, like, um, I always say, want to say surfing town, uh, boating town, fishing town, Fish town. That's part of Cork County. So the Jazz Fest also went to Kinsale. And so it's like a small little fishing town. So it was like bumping. There was everybody who was out and ja- all jazz music all over the place and crazy drunk Irishmen trying to buy our glasses for. They didn't try, they did. $177. That we got for free. Um, but it just, the vibe there, yeah, I just really liked it. I also liked Cork a lot too. But I liked Kinsale more because, one, it's a sister town of Newport, Rhode Island, the twinning city. And then, two, it was just like smaller and homier feeling. Yeah. But Cork, I say Cork County was my favorite. Yeah. the whole County Cork. You say County Cork. County Cork. That wasn't a good one. Usually you do a good job. Yeah. Conor McGregor. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so how about you? Um, I don't know. It was all... It was all... Every place is kind of different. So it's hard to say. That's not an answer. Hard to say. Because the whole ring carry was freaking beautiful. So if you want to go drive around a beautiful area... And see some beauty. Yeah, Go to beautiful. Killarney, Ring and Carry area. It was just so long. Have, seven yeah. and a half hours. By the yeah. end of seven and a half hours of driving, I'm like, get me out of this car. Yeah. My stomach is like girt on. <laughs> I'm like, I got to get out of this car. This, yeah. It's all the, the Oreos and crap that we've been eating. That's a, that was a long time. Yeah, like After seven time. and a half hours yeah. of driving, I'm like, all right, done. And then Cliff some more, which is like the most. Freezing. Like, you know, uh, prestigious or whatever, not yeah. prestigious, but like popular thing to do when you're in Ireland. It was freaking freezing, freezing out. <laughs> Walking, yeah. we're freezing. It's like, I'm like, all right, I'm done. Check, check the list. Let's get the hell out of here because it's so freaking cold. Yeah. I mean, there's that much to do there besides looking the sights, but I think the cliffs to carry were just as fantastic. Yeah, just as beautiful. Fantastic. I don't know. I think you can lump all the little small towns in together because they're all so similar. So you can just say, go to all the little small towns and you'll love them all. And then Cork was gorgeous. I loved Cork and Galway. Galway was, I think, uh, a little bit better than Cork just because it's a. There's a lot of music there and a a little bit more to to do, I think. A little bit more old school, I think, than Cork. Cork is newer. A little newer place. I guess so. It was. Mm-hmm. It was kind of fa- I forgot that. It was kind of fancy even regular Cork. Cork is a little little fancy. Galway's got a little bit of uh a little grit. A little cult, grit. Yeah, a little grit, a little culture to it. Yeah. I I can see that. Yep. I I can see where you're coming from. Yep. It's Christmas in Kelly. <laughs> Oh, I I got a story, a notary story. I forgot about this. So one day, I am riding on the highway. Turning on a dime there, huh? I know. One day, I'm riding on the highway, and I like to drive fast, right? So people that drive slow drive me up a wall. So I am behind a Tacoma, and I'm behind another car that's going really slow. So I'm kind of like flashing my lights, like, get out of this lane. Not to the Tacoma, but to the person in front. Like, come on, get out of this lane. So I end up going around them, both of them, and go and keep moving. So then I get stuck behind like another car, and the Tacoma flies by me and is like looks out his window and is like, "What happened?" Like, how, like in a playful way, like, "How did I get in front of you?" Right? Because he probably saw me flashing the lights. He gets in front of me. He's like, "What happened?" So he goes. Well, then I end up getting past him, and I give him the like peace sign. I was like an older guy. I'm like, "Peace." Keep going. He, now he's making this into a game. He goes by me and blows me a kiss. So then I was like behind him. Now I don't know why I slowed down a little bit, whatever. He's in front of me. Now this is like miles and miles up the road. This is like going on. This is like my highway romance here. He is going to get off an exit and I see him kind of slowing down. He's waiting for me to like catch up. So I do, I go up and we're both like this. Waving each at each other. It was like my highway boyfriend. (laughs) 
My little highway fling. My little highway oh, fling. Oh, jeez. You see this girl drive. Her saying is one car at a time, meaning she passes one car at a time. Just, all right, next car, next car. It's dangerous out there. No, it's Pay not. attention, I, people. I have all eyes. My father taught me how to drive well. I have all eyes on the car in front of me, on the car three in front of me, over there to the left behind me to make sure no cops are coming. Pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't watch out with them cops. <laughs> oh, you just do what my mother said. Oh, did you know my husband is a fireman? And they're like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> or they would go back and tell my father what she would do. <laughs> and then he'd come home and be like, hey, honey, did you, you, did you get pulled over? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I guess that's it. All right. We're done. All right. So I ended at an eight. I'm, I'm going with an eight. eight. Hey, I'm going with an eight. Eight zero. Eight. Lucky score. He's going with a nine point one still. Tastes like the Run Wild IPA with a little bit of harvest and I think a little bit of a honey taste, a little bit of a little, little bit. But it's I think that's what that har harvest autumn is. Eighty calories, fourteen grams of carbs. It's definitely worth a try. Yeah, he Same loves good. it. I like it. All right, people. All right, guys. Same time. Next week. Next week, we're going to do hairless dog brewing. I can't wait. I'm excited for that one, too. We got a lot of options downstairs. We got options. We still haven't finished all the two roots ones. Man. We got options. Lots of non-alcoholic oh, beers chills. around here. Just got the chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Because the power that you're supplying. It's electrifying. You better shape up, oh, 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 because right, I think that's my cue that I like at the All right, end yeah. the stream button. All right, okay. same time, same place. Remember, if you like my channel, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up until your birthday. We got Brie OCD and Jay Swizzle. I'm doing my entrance at the end. Right. Subscribe, like. Love you guys. Bye. Comment below where you're from. Peace. And your Bye. favorite non-alcoholic beer. Peace in your bum crease.